Then as we go through, what I like to do, you can see the player on the left has a little small stride, but we'll bring that player to contact, again, like we did before, and we'll bring our student over here on the right to contact. Now these frames may be different rates, so you may not be able to sync them up. If you're using your own camera over and over again, they will always sync up, but if you're getting your clip somewhere else or using a different camera, uh, the frame rate might be a little bit different. So you can go to different parts of the swing. You know, this would be a power V part of the swing with the student on the right, and this would be the power V swing of the model on the left that you can use. And you can compare things like the back knee, isolate the back foot angle straight up and down, make sure the front leg is straight, this player has a narrower base. Yeah, those are all individual aspects of the swing, not really mechanical. Um, the head is up and in a good position. Um, we can measure torque, which obviously if you're on our website, you know how important that is with the swing. We can isolate the torque position in the swing with our model, and I'm sorry, with our student, and then we can get to that same position with our model or our big league or whoever we're using on the left. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you how easy it is to record and get live images to your clip panel from a camera. You're going to use this swing trigger button. It's very, very simple to do once you connect your camera. The best camera to use, like I said before, is a mini DV camera which has a FireWire connection. You're just going to plug that into the camera, set your camera to the record setting, and when you do that, you're going to click the auto capture button. And the key to capturing with this software is pressing the record button after the player hits the ball. It has an auto record feature which rewinds the clip and trims it automatically for you. There aren't very many software programs on the market today that do that. It makes it very simple. So now we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, once you have your video camera on, and you have your FireWire connected to your camera, you're going to take your FireWire and plug it into the computer. And you should get this live camera button to pop up for you. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. Camera to pop up. Okay, and we just get rid of this pop up. You don't need to do anything there. And you can see we have an image of our player. Um, in order to record, very simple step. You're going to click the ARM auto capture button on the left. Once you click it, it's going to turn bright green, and it's going to say armed. Now, in order to take it, the image and transfer it to a clip panel, you're either going to hit the swing trigger, trigger button or the F3 function. They both do the same thing. So the key here is after the player swings, you're going to actually press the F3 button or the swing trigger button after he swings. It has an auto record function, which is great. You don't have to start and stop the recording. It's going to trim the clip the clip for you. So why don't you go ahead and take a swing. Now I'll hit the button. That's good. And you can see it turns red. It's capturing. It's going to take that clip. It's going to put it down in the bottom clip panel. You All you have to do is double click on it or click and slide it up to the main screen. And now you have your player taking their swing and it took less than three or four seconds to do so. That's all you have to do. You're going to get clips down here. If you want to save this clip, all you need to do is right click, save selected clip, and uh, if it's a new player you've never worked with before, you click the quick register new person, and then you type in their name. We'll call this player Bill Smith. He is a student. You click OK. You're going to see down in the clip panel, once you click OK, down here you're going to see his initial B, Smith, and a disc. So that's all there is to recording live stream video. Again, it has to be a mini DV digital camera, runs on mini DV tapes, and connects to your computer via a FireWire. Good luck with it. You'll enjoy it.